So, um, about two years ago, I started work on my first musical project. And uh, my first musical project called Passport it was a mixtape. Initially, I was supposed to just do 12 songs, just instrumentals, no vocals on it. That was my plan, and I was pretty focused on it. Until there was this day in school, I was in SS1 at the time. I was in the music room. By the way, my school did, didn't allow us senior students to uh, learn music. We were, for some reason, banned from learning music. I never understood why. So I used to play music with the junior classes. And my friend came to me. I was, I was in the class. I, I had a beard. And he was like, bro, what are you doing? You look like a pedophile, man. Like, you, you, should, you should get back to your class. And I was like, what? What, what do you mean? I'm just trying to learn music. It's, it's just music, man. And he pitched this idea to me, which I was, I was aware of it, but I didn't really look into it at the time. He said, you can make music on your laptop. I told him, what? <laughs> what do you mean? How? And the first thing he, he showed me was YouTube. At the time, I was, I, I was familiar with YouTube. I mean, I used to watch music videos here and there, but I genuinely did not know there were tutorials on YouTube for, you know, production software. And he gave me this software called FL Studio. I'm sure most producers would know it. It's, it's like the basic, it's like the foundation of most music producers, electronic music producers. And years passed, months passed, and I was just, I was so amazed at how much you could do off just watching videos online in your bedroom. I was in my bedroom, I had my laptop, I had an uh, earpiece. This was in boarding school, by the way. Luckily, we had internet, which I'm aware a lot of, uh, a lot of people aren't able to access that, which I think it's very painful. So I, was, I had some internet, I had my laptop, I had my earpiece, and I started making songs, well, little beats here and there, drum loops. Sometimes I would cut up songs that already existed and just lace them up with the knowledge I had. I would use something called an equalizer, cut out all the bass so that I could have mostly just the vocals and the chords and recreate the drums. And, you know, at the time, I was doing this on my own, so I was actually limited. I thought I knew everything, but I actually did not know much. I, I thought I was, because in school, I was the only one producing. So I said, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm the best at this. Like, and then my brother came back from school, from university, and... He told me that, yeah, bro, this, this has been happening since. You, you didn't know? I produce, too. I write songs, too. And he told me, you can sing, man. Sing songs. Uh, at the time, I was like, mm, I'm just really comfortable with this producing, to be, to be honest. Like, I'm not really... I wanted to be a lawyer, actually. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be a lawyer, and, well, that... That didn't go through. I saw the books and I just, it was really boring for me, so I, I left it really. Um, but I found my, my strength in production. And that was just through sitting down a couple of hours out of the day and asking Google questions. How do you make a drum loop in FL? I'll just type that and the first link I would see, I'll click. I mean, of course. Not all the links were useful because there's a lot of information, good and bad, on the internet. But I got some stuff after months of researching. So I decided to write a song about the whole collaboration and internet knowledge. 
you know, I, I had collab, even though it wasn't, you know, anything much at the time, my friends see me looking for something to do, looking for how to create music, collaborated with me and, and told me, look, I can help you get more knowledge about this. You don't need to be here. You can actually be a step ahead. You know? And so I wrote a song about it. I, I consider collaboration to be love, and I consider knowledge to be confidence. Because the more you know, the more you can speak. So. I wrote this song. It's actually not done, and I plan on putting it on my forthcoming uh, mixtape or EP, uh, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to um, arrange the song on stage so that you, you know, you get how, uh, so that you get the real order of a normal song. Because right now I only have, because it's an incomplete song, I only have bits of it available. When I was making the beat, first thing I started with was the drums, the drums, because I felt like it at the time. to ideas if you would like to you know share things I could I could put into this song because I've been, I've been writing it for a long time and I just I can't finish it I don't know why so if you could help that would be nice it'll be good to collaborate with you guys thank you 